Lincoln, shocked by electrical current. ABC Steve Osikasami was at a lake in Georgia this morning with more details. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Robin. It's a very hard thing to do, but experts say that if you see someone being electrocuted in the water near a boat or a dock, you should not go with your first instinct. The very first thing you should do is cut off the power. You could save your life and the person you're trying to help. A devastated New Jersey family is planning a funeral this morning for their 11-year-old daughter who was electrocuted over the weekend while swimming in their backyard. A female electrocuted, unconscious breathing. Police say 11-year-old Kayla Matos and two of her friends were playing with an inflatable raft in a backyard lagoon Saturday night and swimming near this metal boat lift when they touched it. Electricity from the lift went soaring through the children and into the water. The 11-year-old died at the hospital. Her friends were shocked but not seriously hurt. I'm going to CPR now. Get back forward and uh, stretch her out to the back. The day before, a similar heartbreaking tragedy, this time in Ohio. A 19-year-old was electrocuted after he jumped in the water to save his dad and his dog, who were both being shocked by an undetected electrical current. Once that happened, the wife that was still on the boat pulled out the shore plug that was connected to the boat and the electric current that was in the water stopped. It's called electric shock drowning, usually caused by a short and the wiring of a charging line or a power source at a dock, marina, or boat. We met Jimmy and Casey Johnson last year. Their 15-year-old daughter, Carmen, died the same way in Alabama. Her father and brother jumped in and almost died, too. They hadn't yet turned off the power. When I grabbed the ladder, I couldn't let go, and I knew immediately what was happening. It's the worst feeling in the world, not being able to move. And pools can be just as dangerous, as seen in this surveillance video from Florida in 2014. A problem with wiring at the pool pump electrifies this metal railing. This girl touches it and instantly goes limp. The man helping her is also shocked. They all survived. Several states are calling for a number of changes, including requiring circuit breakers near docks and requiring for electrical outlets that cut off when there's a short. Robin? That would be great. You mentioned pools. Are there anything that pool owners can do to be safer? Absolutely. Regular maintenance is important. Also, make sure your pool's equipment and electrical wiring are inspected at least once a year. Good Robin. Answer. All right, Steve, thanks so much. Michael? All right, thank you, Robin. And coming up on our big board, we're breaking down.